That was fucking rad. Hello everybody, my name is Meister Blue, and today I took a look at the third episode of Kagewani, titled Secret Ceremony. Yes, I'm a little late on this one, I apologize for not getting this done last Friday, I have been very busy. And I'm actually really upset that I did not get to check this one out, because this was really- This is so far my favorite episode of Kagewani, and it's only because of the theme that's taking place in this, which is a secret hidden cult. I love creepy ghost stories and all these monster stories and everything, as long as they involve a creepy secret cult. And this one has a really, really, really messed up one of those. The premise of this episode is that this couple goes to a hot springs resort, and the girl goes missing, and the man's trying to find her. He finds that this place has this huge, fatal frame-ish looking underground shrine going on, and he goes down there and sees that all the people who work there, and like I guess a bunch of other people, because they can't have that many employees, are all dressed up in masks and everything, which very, very creepy with the style of this show, those masks and they are sacrificing the girl to a monster. And this monster looks straight like something out of just Binding of Isaac. It looks terrifying. It's this giant head with a huge mouth and teeth going all sorts of directions. It looks like if the Sarlacc grew a huge head. It looks like the beast from Episode 7, one of those, um, what, I can't remember what they're called, Rakthars or something, from Episode 7. It looks like one of those, only the size of a building. And it's in the water that's being used for the hot springs. And they're trying to sacrifice the girl to it. And someone, I'm assuming it was Bamba, but I actually like that we don't find out who did this. Somebody has this weird, like, device. Looks like some weird form of a cowbell or something. They, like, click it on the rocks in the caverns and it makes this huge echo that like causes the monster to go ballistic and in that distraction the guy rushes in sh yells for the girl to hold her breath and dives into the water meanwhile the beast goes berserk and eats all the cultists all the cultists and we never find out who that guy was we don't find out who it was that caused that huge distraction i'm assuming it was bonba but i love that you don't find out because this type of story was perfect for not figuring out who that was. The best part of this episode, though, happens right at the end, because the couple gets out. Uh, or, let me backtrack. Originally, when it starts, the guy is talking to one of the front desk people, saying, where is the girl, where's my girlfriend? I came here with my girlfriend. Where is she? And they're trying to be like, oh, no, you didn't bring anybody. You're here all by yourself. See, look at the check-in book. And it's this whole trying to mess with the guy so they can sacrifice the girl. And at the end of it, when they get into a car and tell the guy to drive, he, uh, he says, yeah, man, you smell like crap. Where have you been? There's some spas around here we could drop you off at. And he goes, I actually just came from one. It was Daruma Hot Springs or something like that. And the guy goes, that place has been out of business for years now. That thing was gone for a long time. And the guy freaks out and like remembers looking it up on the internet. And he pulls out his phone and looks it up. And the website is gone. The website doesn't exist. I don't know if that means this whole thing was like a giant thing that happened with the monster. Does that mean the cultists aren't even real and it's just the monster creating this horrific event in the people's mind as it's just luring them to be eaten? Or has like the government already stepped in and fixed this? Was the person who caused the distraction part of that, um, the government facility that Bonba's student worked for? I don't know, and I love that this episode is shrouded in so much mystery. So yes, this was my favorite episode so far. Definitely go check it out. Um, I will see you guys all next time. So until then, everybody, peace out.